here's that second letter that I mentioned about to the editor in uh, in uh, uh, Menza, the Menza Bulletin. And this is the person that was saying, well, uh, the Creation Museum is is wrong to mock science. Well, they're not really doing that. Uh, but he also says that the best evidence for creation is that we exist, that there must be a creator. He says also that scientists who deny creation have also erred. Uh, and then they declare things to be fact based on beliefs. He's saying both sides are, and we should never do that. We should declare things to be true within our own circle of people who believe the Bible is authority, but only in that circle. I spoke to the Atheist Club at Purdue one time, and they wondered why I didn't cite the Bible as an authority during my presentation. I said, well, you don't even believe the Bible. Why would I cite that as an authority to you? So Paul did the same kind of thing on Mars Hill. Uh, but, uh, but we do cite science and logic and reason and evidence and data as, uh, as fact. Uh, I do that all the time. Penzias and Wilson discovered the cosmic background radiation by accident. They were looking for something else. Uh, he lists here many other scientific discoveries that were done kind of by accident, including uh, Tom Baugh, you know, discovering Pluto. He was looking for something else, and we never did find it, whatever it was. Uh, he said, God, maybe God created those fossils to make it look like the Earth is older, but I don't think that God would do that. Atheists call him the trickster God, and I don't think Satan has that kind of power. So those fossils uh, were, are real, and we deal with that. And he also mentions something I like here. He said, dinosaurs uh, perish, but nobody can really say with any certainty either way how the dinosaurs became extinct. And really, anybody who says they know, uh, there's plenty of uh, good ideas about why the dinosaurs went extinct, but we really don't know for sure. Uh, many, many things might have all happened all at once, but one thing's for sure, in the biblical worldview, dinosaurs were on the ark, they got off the ark, they were land animals with the breath of life in their nostrils, so they survived. But how long did they survive? Uh, a lot of creationists believe into the early Middle Ages, which gave rise to all the dragon legends in every major ancient culture of the world. The European lion is extinct, the Caribbean uh, uh, manatee is extinct, and the, the uh, uh, Madagascar dodo bird is extinct. Uh, a lot of things have gone extinct, you know, mammoths and things like that. Why? Uh, was it just because the long marches of age and they just got old? And maybe their DNA got old. Phylogerontology is a new concept, but uh, it may explain I think, it's my personal theory, the dinosaur extinction much better. Will you keep thinking, and perhaps we'll look at one more letter to the editor. This is all interesting about people's attitudes about these things, so you know, especially these Menzins here. Uh, but uh, I do want to get back to some of the science discoveries that have happened in the past few months and, uh, and keep you up to date on those. And God bless. And oh, by the way, by the way, if you're washed in the blood of Jesus, don't worry about this full moon and Friday the 13th thing. You are saved. You are children of the light and children of the day. They stumble at what they know not. But you, you have your mind um, transformed by the mind of Christ. Don't be conformed by this world. In Jesus' name, blood of Jesus over all of us and you and all those teachers with classes. Full moons make a difference anyway. God bless. Dr. J.